Hey guys, so today I will be looking at every confirmed minifigure for the 2021 um, early wave as well as my speculation on the other sets which we do not know minifigures for. Um, so this will be just a bit of a quick video, um, well, relatively quick I guess, um, but it will basically just sum up uh, what sets will have minifigures and what sets um, won't as well as just what many figures will be in this. So first up we'll go into the 75295 Millennium Falcon Mark Freighter which we know will have a Han Solo minifigure and it will be the Han from the very end of Solo in that final scene. The next one, the 75297 Resistance X-Wing. No minifigure on this yet but I would speculate Poe or BB-8 um, but I mean Snap Wexley is also a likely op option as well as just any other resistance pilot would be nice. But I think the main thing would of course just be Poe and BB-8, as resistance X-Wings haven't really appeared other than them. Um, of course they've had additional minifigures with other resistance pilots, but it's mostly been them. The next one is 75298, the Taunton vs. 88 Fighter, and we know the two minifigures for this will be an 8080 pilot as well as a Hoth Lego Luke. Um, so very basic figs here, but I'm sure they'll be nice and cheap set. The next one is the 75299, the Mandalorian hero vehicle. I'm not going to speculate on minifigures as much in depth as this one, because we don't actually, actually have a rumour on what this set is. So it's quite hard to speculate on this, but I would hope for Beskar Mando and Baby Yoda at least. Um, the 75300 TIE Fighter, I don't know about this one, I would expect just, I mean I'd hope for normal Imperial crew, like just a pilot, a stormtrooper, an officer and a droid would be nice, um, but maybe some nice exclusive fig in there could also be good, but you know it's cheaper and it would be nice for army building if they just had the former. Now next up is one that I think we have some minifigures for, um, and this is the 75301 X-Wing. And from the leaked images, I, th I think most people are pretty sure it's Luke and R2, um, but to me the body of the R2 looks silver as well, which is sort of weird, um, but inside it does look like Luke's helmet and I'd be, I wouldn't expect these to be placeholders, so I would expect just Luke and R2, however in a $50 set I'd expect more minifigures, so a cool third fig figure would be nice, and I'd hope for Lando, I think that would be really nice to see. Um, as well as other than that, probably just a basic repair crewman, and you know, I wouldn't expect more than that in this Lego set. Uh, next is 75303, the Imperial Shuttle, and I did a video yesterday on the possibility of this, um, but I think it makes sense that Vader was sort of rumoured, and this Vader would of course have those printed arms, um, but yeah, I think it would be really cool to have it from the Clone Wars Season 7, um, I made a video on this yesterday, but basically with the box art, um, they don't make this for only two sets, so there will be more Clone Wars sets, um, as well as just it does appear in the Clone Wars, so you can check out my other video on that, um, that I dropped yesterday, uh, but and that goes into more depth on this, so I'd expect, uh, Rex, Ahsoka, maybe Jesse and Vader in this set. The next one is the UCS set, um, so first of all, I don't know what this set is, no confirmation, I think. Most likely it's the gunship, um, but yeah, I can't really say. If it was a gunship, many figures for this, I would want a Jedi Bob, and I think lots of fans would agree with me, for the nostalgia would be great, as well as Phase 2 Cody would be nice. Um, that's saying that it's based on the, the Clone Wars, no point in general, uh, but Siege of Mandalore would be nice with some cool new figures anyways. Um, the next ones, the helmets obviously won't have any minifigures, but the next one is of course the probe droid, um, and the probe droid, I'm sure, will look quite nice, but it's a thing, it's a buildable figure, not buildable, forget, buildable, buildable model. Um, so it'll just come with a brick-built probe droid like we have seen before. Um, but that's really it for this wave. Um, so sort of disappointing on minifigures. The only ones I'd say to look forward to would be the Imperial Shuttle, uh, if, if it is based off Clone Wars. Um, and the Mando Hero Vehicle which should include Mando, Baby Yoda, and, you know, I'd hope for a Cara Dune, uh, so that you don't have to buy a retired, nearly retired set. Um, that's quite a lot, um, just to get her. Um, 
But yeah, however, that will be all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That will be all, folks. Goodbye.